28th of May uh, 2023. So guys, uh, at least 8,000 Zimbabwean migrants were registered to return home ahead of the expiry of the Zimbabwe exemption payments at EP in South Africa on June 30. I expect it soon with the Zimbabwean government confirming that all logistics for a smooth process are in place. This is the first batch of ZEP holders registered for assistance during the mapping exercise conducted uh, from February and to early March this year. Zimbabwean Foreign Affairs and International Trade Deputy Minister David Musayabana said that a committee comprising officials from several ministries was conducting logistics to ensure the smooth movement of people from South Africa looking at the whole gamut of their needs. The returnees will receive customs clearance reintegration of children into schools, social and psychological support and other assistance. He said the government will also provide buses for those needing transportation. Zimbabwean consulates in South Africa are assisting citizens in accessing virtual documents like birth certificates, national identity cards and passports. He said government stands ready to receive the EP permit holders and all is now in order and we should be expecting them anytime soon. For further assistance, we urge people to approach the Zimbabwe Embassy in Pretoria and the two consulates in Johannesburg and Cape Town. The Interministerial Committee has covered a lot of ground so far, identifying areas of assistance for the returnees. Government will also provide buses for those needing transportation. Foreign Affairs and International Trade Spokesperson Mr. David Mugejo told the Sunday Mail that the 8,000 returnees were registered in different parts of South Africa. He said, during the mapping exercise, we managed to register more than 8,000 people out of the expected 178,000. However, the figure 178,000 comprises Zimbabweans of different standing working across different sectors of the South African economy. While the ZEP provided an umbrella immigration cover for our people, the six months extension was also meant to afford the affected citizen ample time to migrate to other available visas. Zimbabwean consulates in South Africa are assisting citizens in accessing virtual documents including birth certificates, national identity cards and passports. The government will also provide customs clearance, reintegration of children into schools and social and psychological support for returnees. The Zimbabwean government is partnered with the International Organization of Migration for technical support in expected mass movement of Zimbabweans from South Africa. The mapping exercise will begin on February 13, allowed the EP holders to register online for assistance to return home. The exercise first phase ended in early March, followed by phase two, which had enhanced support for the returnees. Since 2009, at least 178,000 Zimbabweans have been living in South Africa under the ZEP, which was initially given to Zimbabweans with crucial skills for the country's development. However, SA now believes it has enough of its own citizens with the required skills. The SA government initially gave the EP holders until December 31, 2022 to apply for alternative visas and later extended the permits validity to June 30, 2023. The alternative include student, business, sponsor and work permit visas which are typical visas foreigners working in the country are required. So guys, that's the latest here. The first batch of Zimbabweans are um, expected is 8,000 and so we'll be keeping you guys up to date with the latest. Remember, uh, we did a video earlier this year whereby uh, the Zimbabwean government uh, before 30 uh, June, you can register yourself online. Yes, some registered, some ignored. So the snake, 8,000 are expected uh, to be coming to Zimbabwe anytime soon. So I'll be keeping you guys up to date here the latest on weekly news roundup on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. So guys, the deadline is the 30 of June 2023, which is next month. After that, it's going to be difficult for many Zimbabweans who are living, who are working in South Africa without proper documents. It's going to be a different ballgame because ZDP, but now, because expire it's gonna be difficult for someone else to open a bank account or even to get employment or even to do something with that payment because a person a person and so 
this is a weekly news roundup we'll be keeping you guys up to date here with the latest thank you for listening thank you for watching remember to follow us everywhere instagram facebook facebook page we're also available on twitter at p miller ent this is prince miller entertainment tv you're listening you're watching the weekly news roundup comes to you guys each and every saturday and sunday bless up